Hey fragrance friends and family, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm feeling kind of good. I finally got my hair cut and colored again and it's ready for fall. What do we think about the more honey brown look versus the blonde? We're curious to hear your thoughts. I haven't been this color in quite a while, but here we go. I have another haul for you. There are 15 fragrances. I was gonna have the nerve to say that this was a mini haul, but by no means is 15 fragrances a mini haul. In transparency, some of these were sent to me for review and I will share with you what those are. I also have my very first giveaway ever. There's gonna be two kinds of giveaways. One is for a bottle and some travel sprays and I'll throw in some samples and decants and things as well. And then the other is for a gift certificate. A while back, I did a subscriber appreciation award on a live that I did with some ladies. The theme was to give a shout out to someone that had been with us for a long time and been super supportive of our channel. This young woman has been with me for a very long time. I gave her $200 gift certificates to Fragrance by CA and she was so sweet and didn't want to take both of them. She accepted one and asked that I give away the other in an upcoming video and it would make her feel like a secret Santa. So I thought that was so sweet. So I'll be doing that in this video as well. Let's jump into the fragrances. First in my haul is a fragrance that I have had a juicy travel spray of for a long time. This fragrance showed up in a video that I did way, way, way back. In it, I had Cafe Tuberosa from Atelier Colognes. I just filmed that little line like six times because it's such a tongue twister for me. So anyway, it is a very strange fragrance because it opens super pungent and almost off-putting where you think what have I gotten myself into is this something that I need to scrub off right away before I collapse <laughs> and as you give it a few minutes to settle down it actually develops into this really pretty coffee rose fragrance and it also has some tuberose in it um, the tuberose I would say so here's the bottle hello the tuberose, I would say, is more a supporting player, even though it's in the name. To me, this is more coffee and rose with tuberose sort of mellowing out the composition. There's some vanilla in here as well. It's a very strong scent in the sense that it smells like black coffee to me. I am a black coffee drinker. I know people are funny about that. Let me know in the comments, are you the kind that drinks pure black coffee? Do you do black coffee in some kind of sweetener? Or do you do coffee that's doctored up with creamers and sugars and syrups and all kinds of things? I like black coffee with a little bit of Skinny Girl syrup and two Splenda. That's how I do my coffee. <laughs> anyway, this smells like black coffee with a beautiful rose and a soft tuberose. And like I said, a hint of that vanilla in it to give it some depth and creaminess and roundness at the same time. This is not one that's for the faint of heart. It is still weird and bizarre, I think, but lovely at the same time. I found out that this fragrance was being discontinued, and so I had to go ahead and purchase a full bottle. I did get this uh, secondhand on Mercari, which is why you see that it has a dent in it for a really nice price. And I love this. I love this a lot. I love this because it's weird and I am a fan of odd and strange fragrances as long as they are not disgusting odd. This is an interesting odd that makes you keep sniffing. If you like strong coffee, if you like a strong rose, if you like tuberose, you might wanna check this one out. It'll pop up on secondhand sites and it'll pop up on the gray market like fragrance net and so forth here and there. So keep your eyes peeled for this, I like it. I am super excited about this next fragrance because it was a pure blind buy and it wasn't inexpensive and it is Prada Desert Serenade from the Mirages line. This one here I would describe as a leather fragrance. You're going to see this in an upcoming leather video. It also has saffron and it has honey. So it's this sweet resinous leather fragrance with some spiciness to it that is really delightful. The bottle is simply gorgeous. I wanna check out some others from this line, but this one had really great reviews. So I went ahead and snapped it up. Of course, again, if you are not someone who enjoys leather, if you are not someone who enjoys honey, don't go playing around with this fragrance. Don't go out there and buy this and say, Veronica told me to get it and I hate it. 
because you will. <laughs> but for those of you that are out there that are a bit more adventurous with your fragrances, you don't mind one that leans semi-masculine, is leather-based. Did I just say that? I said the leather part already. Has some saffron, has a little bit of spiciness to it. You might really enjoy this fragrance. Beautiful for fall. I've done a full day wear on this and it's a love for me. This next one you may have in your collection. Certainly you've heard about it. Maybe you had it and you decluttered it. It is Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. I didn't buy the full bottle. I bought the smaller one. And I have to say, I've seen this before and I've tried it before, but I heard Rebecca Collazo here on YouTube talking about it in her video and thought, I, I need it. Talked about going on a walk with her mom, I think was the story. And her mom really loved it on her. Um, and so anytime you hear someone saying that they were complimented on it, let me correct that. Anytime I hear someone saying that they were complimented on a perfume, it perks my ears up. And I really do just like this, this interesting bottle here with the snake on it. So people talk about this having a prominent popcorn note. I have to tell you, I don't get any popcorn in this at all. I get a very sweet, vanillic, uh, maybe a little bit woody kind of fragrance. It's more like a grown-up kind of sweet versus a very young and flirty kind of sweet. Although I could see a young lady pulling this off too. If this reminds me of anything, I would say it's Olympea Intense. I don't have the original Olympea. I've smelled it, and yes, there are some similarities, but the Intense version reminds me a lot of this. They could be cousins, the two of them, you know? I really like this, and I love the way this looks among my collection, so this is a thumbs up. Next is a fragrance from a house that I really enjoy. It's Robert or Robert Piguet, and it is Bandit. I was hesitant to get this because the reviews talk about this being very daring and bold and animalic and sometimes fragrances like that can scare me and excite me at the same time. So this one here is ooh, super pungent. It reminds me a lot of Magie Noir by Lancome in that it does smell earthy, it smells animalic you get some mossiness you get woodiness you get even some leather in here but what i really like about it is the greenness of it i talk sometimes about fragrances smelling like this goya g-o-y-a condiment called recaito well it's a condiment in the sense that you add it to things it's really not a condiment then i guess it's like a flavor enhancer you put it in stews and soups and in your beans and maybe in, in other things that are liquid in form you can drop it in there you can even marinate your meat in it but it's like a lot of crushed herbs together cilantro and a bunch of other stuff and it's green and it's delicious think of like a chimichurro sauce except even more cilantro like i'm gonna cut that part out am i gonna cut it out i don't know what i'm talking about recaito that's what this reminds me of it also is similar to a fragrance called shamal which i recently tried a decant of from my friend here richard keycott on youtube who sent it to me uh, I like this. This is not for everyone. Uh, if you're someone who enjoys very girly fragrances, please stay away. If you like those animalic, heavier, green, earthy fragrances that have a lot of character, you may want to try Bandit. This next one I blame squarely on Adriana DC who did a Middle Eastern fragrance haul and I fell in love with the bottle. It is Kayed from Latafa. This beauty here does not feel cheap at all here's a little asmr for you guys <laughs> anyway um i got this for 23 us dollars from fragrance by ca it is lovely again not for the faint of heart if you're looking for a fragrance that's mass appealing this is not it it's a leathery fragrance it's warm and spicy. It has a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon in it. So while it's warm and deep, there's also something light about this in comparison to other fragrances that have this kind of scent profile that can like clear out a room and send little children running away. <laughs> this is not like that. I will say my son didn't care for this the day I wore it. He said I smelled like an old lady. Fine. I like it. I think it's beautiful. And if you have a more mature sense of smell and can appreciate leather fragrances, try Kayed from Latafa. Warm, spicy leather.
Speaking of leather, and you'll see some of these in an upcoming, like I said, leather video. I'm blaming this one on Nisha from Spicy Looks, who brought this fragrance out in a haul a little bit ago, and I just knew I had to have I it. I've fallen in love with the Confidentials line from Carolina Herrera, and this is Saffron Lazuli. Saffron Lazuli. I always say Saffron. Sorry, guys. Anyway, this is a lighter leather fragrance. I say lighter for mature noses. If you have one of those noses that's very sensitive, this is gonna feel way too heavy for you. If you're into ouds, if you're into leathers, if you're into really woody fragrances, this will feel a little bit on the lighter end, but it's lovely. It has a little hint of spice, um, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of rose, but mostly this comes across as a gorgeous leather fragrance and I love these bottles. This is, I think, my sixth or seventh from this collection and I just can't stop. I keep buying them. <laughs> yes, this is a definite thumbs up. Another one that you'll see in an upcoming video where I talk about my Oud and Smoky fragrances, this is Oud 36 Nuit from Al Haramein. I blame this on an Instagram friend who's also a subscriber and fragrance friend, Mia Morella. Go check her out on Instagram. She has an amazing collection and she posted this. Uh, and I knew when I looked it up that I had to have it. I'll tell you what this smells like. This is a nice dupe for Oud Bouquet. It's almost identical, except it leans a little bit more masculine. It's very, very strong, very heavy on the oud, it has a floral note, it has some sweetness in here. This could go masculine or feminine depending on who's wearing it and how they're pulling it off and what else they're wearing with it. This is a beast, beast. I mean to tell you guys, I did five sprays, made myself sick. <laughs> it was a long day and this kept going and going and going and going. I put this on at maybe six in the morning or so. When I tell you it was 11 p.m., I was picking my husband up from a business trip at the airport. I drove up and I was scared that I was gonna gas him out because at 11 p.m., I was still smelling this strong from 6 a.m. in the morning. And here's the other kicker. I woke up the next morning and could still smell it on me. Not quite as strong as the 6 a.m. the day before, but strong enough to still go out in it, right? Of course I showered, you guys, of course. But if you like a good beast mode fragrance, if you are an Oud Bouquet fan and maybe wanna have, to have it with just a hint of more masculinity in it, just a hint because they're nearly identical, you may wanna try Oud 36 Nui. I think I paid 70 to $80 for this bottle. Oh my gosh. This is for me a thumbs up for most people is gonna be a heck no run for your life, stay away fragrance. I like it. Next fragrance I have to blame on my girl Marcy here on YouTube. She's at Marcelina Teresa. Listen, she loves this fragrance. She sent me a sample of it. And when I first tried it, I was like, okay, it's nice, I don't understand what the big deal is, but I kept playing with it. I tried it again, I tried it again, and then one night, here's where the magic happens. My friends, my friends, coming close for a little story. I sprayed this on me. It is Tibet from Tiziana Terenzi, a house that I love, and I wore it to bed. And my husband was like, what do you have on? And I was like, oh, you like how I smell? I'm wearing Tibet by Tiziana Terenzi. And he was like, ooh. So he was sniffing and sniffing. We hung out in bed. We watched a movie, read books. We don't read books. I'm lying. We watched TikTok. We watched YouTube. Hours had gone by. And I leaned over and said, do you still smell? And he said, oh, yeah, and it's beautiful. You need to buy a bottle of that. My husband is very picky with fragrances. You guys know this if you've watched my channel. He adored this. So I don't need to hear anything more. Add to cart, add to cart. And I'm glad that I did. It is beautiful. I will say this is a fragrance that for a lot of people, when you put it on, you can become anosmic to it. That happens to me. I smell it for maybe an hour or so, and then it just kind of disappears on me. But everyone else around me smells it and loves it. 
Now, I will get whiffs of it during the day. One that I would call a sleeper fragrance where I almost didn't get it because I didn't understand the hype until my husband's reaction. Ding, 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 ding. A fragrance that I purchased that did not work out for me, and so I'm going to be selling it, is Bill Blass Black. So I have Nude from Bill Blass, which I love. Well, I loved it, and then it got too much for me, and then I loved it again. I was looking on unshant.com. I will link them below. They're based in Canada, and they have a number of vintage fragrances in their inventory and came across this, had never heard of it, never smelled it, but took a chance and blind bought it. This is a blind buy fail for me. I, I don't know. It just, it smells, I don't even know how to describe it. It smells woody, ambery, maybe a little resinous, but dull and boring at the same time and a little bit cloying. And it's just not for me. That said, maybe someone else will love it. I'm definitely gonna be putting this up for sale and hoping that it can find a new home and some love. The next purchase for me is also a blind buy. It is Belle d'Opium, Yves Saint Laurent. This is discontinued. This is a vintage formulation. A lot of people are looking for this. I found it on that Enchant website. Go check them out and show that site some love. I just got a little bottle. I have to tell you the story. Hang with me here. <laughs> Oh God, I sprayed this and immediately smelled like the worst halitosis bad breath you could imagine. And I was thinking, oh my God, I cannot believe that this was such a huge fail. Like it totally turned me off. That said, I cleared out what was sitting in the atomizer tube and sprayed again, right? I sprayed several times and that whole thing went away and I didn't smell it again. Just trust me on that. <laughs> And when I tried it after I had cleared it out, it actually is what people say it is. It's a sweet, spicy, smoky, incense-y fragrance. Deep, warm, sultry. I will say though, this is not the most unique of smells. There are other fragrances out on the market that smell like this now. Perhaps at the time that it came out, it was unique in that way. That's not to take away from the beauty of this fragrance, friends. It's gorgeous. I just, it's one of those things where like people romanticize the way a vintage fragrance smells so much because perhaps it was unique at the time. That said, I'm happy to have this, but I'm gonna tell you, if you can't find this and you want something like it, go for Ruhi Tabak. This is from Rasazi and is a steal of a fragrance. These are identical and I may even prefer this one a bit more because it has a bit more of a modern touch on the sweet part of it. Both gorgeous fragrances. Don't go crazy trying to find Belle de Opium. I'm glad that I have it. Certainly will uh, have a nice place in my collection, but you would do just as fine with this one. Trust me, friends. Lovely. The next one I blame on Maggie at Total Fashion Sense. She did this awesome video where she, and it's in Spanish. So if you speak Spanish or you want to brush up on your Spanish, I'll link this video below. It's wonderfully done. And she shares, or did she do it in Spanish? Am I making that up? Was it in English? I don't know. Anyway, she did this awesome video where she was comparing popular fragrances to more affordable alternatives. They could be dupes or just something that smells close enough that you could swap one for the other. And she talked about a fragrance I had never heard of, another Middle Eastern fragrance. You know I'm in love with the Middle Eastern fragrances. It is Her Highness from Afnan. Ah, let's put a little halo around this bad girl. She is heavy. This thing weighs. This is like a 50 pound fragrance at least. <laughs> No, more like a pound or two. Is it about a pound? Maybe two. Really lovely design on this bottle. And I have to show you how it comes. I know people aren't into like the whole unboxing thing and all of that. I get it. And by the way, I think I paid between 70 and 80 for this on Amazon. Here's the bottle. I mean, <laughs> here's the box. On the inside of the box is a coffret and it comes in there. Just so nicely done. So Maggie compared this, I believe it was to Dahab from Kajal. So I got curious and ordered. I don't have 
I don't have to haul. This is lovely. Again, not for the faint of heart. You really have to have an appreciation for Middle Eastern fragrances. This is a beauty among them. It's one that I know like my children probably wouldn't like on me. My husband loves this. He thinks it is beautiful. He's a tough audience. This is why I'm telling you guys this. If you have a tough audience in your house or if you're a tough crowd, you might like this one. It has some fruitiness to it but mostly it smells like a fresh musk to me. Really delightful. It has a little bit of powderiness to it, but I would say more than anything, it's like a semi-sweet musk. It's not super like sickly sweet. It's just enough sweet and fruity, but mostly a musk. Gorgeous. Another Carolina Herrera Confidentials fragrance, another Mercari purchase, because this is super hard to find right now. Nightfall Patchouli, how beautiful very ambery a touch of patchouli it's not a heavy patchouli bomb it's mostly ambery and it's mostly warm and spicy it does also have <clears throat> whoo it also has a cinnamon accord in it so i would describe it as spicy and somewhat sweet uh and ambery and deep and sultry and evening fragrance not a daytime fragrance although i'm a, i'm aware of this oh all day every day my husband loves it on him he likes it on me the kids hate it it's too much for the kids they're just like ew you stink but i like this a lot nightfall patchouli love 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 this confidentials line from carolina herrera how could i forget to include this next fragrance so i guess it's actually 16 fragrances in this video it is simone andrioli malibu party in the bay I'm also blaming this one on marcy she did a whole house review on a bunch of simone andrioli fragrances and just raved and raved about this one i've heard a few other people talk about this as well it reminds me almost it's almost identical to virgin island water from creed maybe even a little deeper on the lime and on like a rum note and a smooth coconut in here. I really like this. I almost sent this back because it reminded me so much of Virgin Island water. And I'm glad that I didn't because as I played around with it a little bit more, I realized that yes, they're nearly identical, but they are a little bit different enough for me to keep this. Now let's get into the fragrances that were sent to me for review. I have three and I'll start with um, one that I am going to put in my giveaway and it is a fragrance called Whatever. And this is a green musky floral fragrance with some fruity notes in it. The top notes are green notes, pear, apple, jasmine, peach, white musk. And then in the middle, incense, labdanum, amberwood, balm, mint, little mintiness. And in the base, geranium, plum, amber, patchouli, and vanilla. So it definitely is fruity. It has very slight Dahab-ish kind of vibes, like almost in the same um, family as this, except more fruity, more green than this. This is maybe uh, more musky and deeper. So that's this fragrance. And I have um, two roller balls to give away. It's goodvibesperfume.com and they have three fragrances to new house. It, one is called whatever, one is called Fragrance 100, and then the third is called Caribbean Lime. Go check them out, and I'll talk about how to grab these in the giveaway in just a second. Then I got two gorgeous bottles from Primera Perfumes. I got Demarbella and I got Prestige. Thank you so much, Primera Perfumes, for these gifts. These are both gorgeous. Husband and I approve of both thumbs up on them. Then Marbella is more on the feminine side. It has a coconut vibe. This combines musk, steam oud, vanilla, brown sugar, and it says a touch of coconut. And I think that's right. There's something beautiful and feminine about this, but it's also the the coconut in this comes across a little woody, maybe a little oody, and I really like it. It's soft, but it's long lasting. So this isn't one that's going to be super loud. It does have some projection. It has presence, but what I love about it is that it lingers for a long time. Prestige is one that my husband and I will both be wearing. We fell in love with this immediately. Highly recommend this one. It's sandalwood, leather, vanilla, creamy chocolate, a little orange, smoky and woody. This is, 
very sexy very sexy fragrance one that will make you want to nuzzle into the neck. highly recommend prestige i'm probably going to be checking out this house uh it looks like most of their bottles look like this maybe all of them they're on instagram right now primera fragrances i am so happy to have these lovely bottles lovely fragrances check these out now for the giveaway i need you to tag 300 friends contact the pope call up the president of the united states <laughs> wire me money by western union follow me on instagram tiktok whatsapp snapchat Facebook, I need you to tell your mom and them about me. I need you to go follow everyone that I follow. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do anything. I will say that the giveaway is open to someone who is not a YouTuber because we all have a gazillion fragrances. I'd love to be able to give these away to someone else who's a viewer. So all I need you to do is not be a YouTuber. Love my YouTube friends, but um, this is for others. And just drop in the comments that you're interested in the fragrance, whatever, if that's what you want, or drop in the comments that you're interested in the gift certificate. One or the other, please, not both. And you also need to have some way that I can contact you either through Instagram so that I can DM you uh, and get your address, your details. Excuse me, I'm a little parched. Or I need to be able to email you, but just drop it in the comments. Don't email me, don't DM me, put it right in the comments. And I'll just do first come, right? I'll send out the full fragrance or the rollerball to the first three people that say they want this. And I'll give the gift certificate to the first person that claims it. That's it. That's the whole giveaway. Yep, it's really that simple. That is my haul video and my giveaway. I hope you enjoyed. Please go check out Good Vibes Fragrances and Primera uh, Perfumes on Instagram. Take care, friends.